How you doing? How you doing today? So last we spoke was like only two weeks ago. If you don't know, I'm writing a book. I've been working on it since January. Last we spoke, I was still in the middle portion and like I could see Act 3 in the distance. The other day, I broke into Act 3. I made it through the middle, and the middle was the longest thing in the universe. I'm so excited. I was just so happy, and I'm so happy. I'm so close to the end. I'm in the final stretch of the first draft, and it's like unconceivable. I can't believe it. I'm almost there. Like, it's real. I'm really almost there. Before I broke into the third act, I was having trouble with this one scene. Like, I knew it was missing something, and I couldn't figure it out. I got to hang out with my friend Julia. I was talking to her about it. She made this suggestion, and I was like, yeah, maybe I can rock with that. And just having that new suggestion and that new input spurred me back on, and I fixed the scene, and I fixed another scene to make that scene work. And then I was kind of stuck again on the next scene. But I had this great conversation with my best friend Katie from college. You've seen her in a million different videos. We talked through like the entire end of my book because I had all these things I wanted to happen but I wasn't sure like the timeline for it. And by the end of the phone call, I had talked everything through so much and I'd worked out exactly like how I wanted everything to fall. And then I just started writing. I wrote a shitload this week. And I'm, I'm in the darkest night of the soul. What even? And on that phone call, she also helped me brainstorm actual real titles. Because I started brainstorming them myself and like writing down words that might work to like put together in the title. And then we had a nice brainstorm sesh and I came out with a tentative real title. It's two words, I can tell you that. Ah, it might change. There's one word that I think I want to definitely have in the title. So it's just about like what words are gonna surround that word. I'm being very big. I'm sorry. I'm just really excited. I can see the end in sight. Like I can see the end in sight. Like I can see the end in sight. I can see the end like it's literally, I can't wait to sit down and keep writing. I'm just so happy right now. My draft is currently at 148,907 words. I just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm almost finished with this story that I wanted to tell for so long. I have some questions to answer from you guys. I'm constantly being asked about the genre and if it's gonna be YA. The main character is 20, she's almost 21, and it's a contemporary. And it definitely has like a comedy undertone to it. A lot of people are asking me what my inspiration was for writing, and it's definitely things that have happened in my life have inspired this book. Zoe has asked me, what are my writing snacks? This is very, very important. My writing snack and my only writing snack is going to Starbucks and getting my tall iced green tea latte sweetened with light ice. This past two weeks when I've been writing so much I've actually I've gone like almost every day. It's so helpful to have that boost of sugar and milk and delicious green tea. Mmm, I'm gonna get one after this. Oh, sometimes I also grab a pumpkin bread from Starbucks. Someone asked me, is there one book that made you wanna write your book? That like, after that you were like, I wanna write my own book. I mean, like, I always had in the back of my mind, like, I love telling stories, you know, in school when we had to write stories, it was my favorite thing. But I remember specifically when I read Twilight, after I finished that book, I was like, I can write a book. I can do this. Like, I really believe that I can write a book. And it had felt like a very daunting, difficult, thing that I wasn't sure I'd be able to accomplish before that, but after Twilight, I was like, no, I can do this. Everyone's always asking, how do you get past writer's block? Seriously, my best advice is to talk to your friends about it. Tell your best friend what's going on and get their input, because even if you don't like it, it can spark something in your head that you weren't thinking about. It's so helpful, because just that new spark can change a whole bunch of cogs and lead you down the path that you need to be on. Oh, can I create a Spotify playlist of the songs I'm writing to so I can share with you guys? It's a question that I keep getting asked. I, I do have a Spotify playlist. That's that's what I work off of, but it's private right now because I need these songs to remain like mine until I'm done writing and then when I'm done writing I will share the playlist, but right now I want to keep it private. just want to keep it like mine Here's another one on my writing playlist. This isn't one that I listen to repeatedly But this is one I had on to get into a specific scene My father took me into the city to see a march 
marching band. He said, son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken, the beaten, and the damned? He said, will you defeat them, you demons, and all the non-believers to join the Black Parade? this first draft. I'm Anaxine May on Twitter. I'm Anaxine May on Instagram. Thank you for watching. I make videos every Tuesday. I will see you next time. Goodbye!